five signs that your destiny is caged beloved it is very crucial to discern the signs that indicate your destiny is under spiritual attack these five signs are indicative of great spiritual battle against your glory against your destiny against the flow of grace from you pay attention because these signs speak volumes when you notice these signs in your life god is trying to allow you to see what's going on in your life and what you need to do is to engage the blood of Jesus against the powers of darkness and lose your destiny. Today, I will be sharing these signs with you. But more importantly, I will be leading you in a prayer of agreement to speak to your destiny, to speak to your glory, to speak to everything about you we will be sending the fire of the holy spirit to break any spiritual cage to break any spiritual cage anything that holds you bound in the name of jesus like jesus spoke to the woman who has been bowed down for 18 long years yet this woman always attended the synagogue it is possible for you to be attending prayer houses listening to videos attending churches receiving prophetic words nevertheless you are still bowed today jesus is coming your way he is speaking to you you do not need to be bowed anymore in the name of jesus christ Amen. If this is your first time of joining this channel, if this is your first time of hearing my voice, if this is your first time of listening to me, I appeal to you to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and I appeal to you to become a monthly member. Support this channel. Your seeds of faith will activate the mystery and blessings of prosperity in your life in the name of Jesus. Listen, I hold hands with all my subscribers. I hold hands with all our monthly members and I mention your names in prayer every other day. Your support to this channel will help us in carrying out the assignment that God has committed into our hands. You will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. I also would like to thank every one of you that have stuck with me on this channel. Something good will surely happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Remember, you do not need to be bowed anymore. By the blood of Jesus, anything that holds you bound is leaving you in the name of Jesus. Before we proceed, I'd like you to say this in the comment. I will arise and shine, for my light has come in the name of Jesus. Would you say that the second time? I will arise and shine, for my light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon me in the name of Jesus. Amen. So what are the signs that your destiny may be caged? What are the signs that your destiny may be under spiritual attack? What are the signs that your destiny is being haunted? Number one, when you experience stagnation and repeated failure, despite your best efforts, it is clear sign that your destiny is under attack. It is a clear sign that your destiny is under attack. In Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, Then we turned back and set out toward the wilderness along the route to the Red Sea, as the Lord had directed me. For a long time we made our way around the hill country of Seir. Then the Lord said to me, 
you have made your way around this hill country long enough now turn not listen motion is god's will progress is god's will the bible says the part of the dust is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter if every day is not a plus in the previous in your life then something is wrong somewhere for the will of god is that your today will be better than your yesterday and your tomorrow will be better than your today if you have this feeling of being stuck if you have this feeling of moving in circles if you have this feeling of staying at one spot for a very long time irrespective of how much effort you put in child of god your destiny your glory your life is under attack and you need to come in the place of prayers to plead the blood of jesus and say oh ye powers holding me let me go in the name of jesus ye stubborn powers ye agents of pharaoh by the blood of jesus let me go oh lord arise in my life and let the judgments of the enemy be cancelled in the name of jesus i refuse to be a spiritual slave in the name of jesus i will be leading you to pray prayers like this as we progress in this in this fellowship amen number two unexplainable hardship and suffering remember the first one is stagnation and repeated failure stagnation and repeated failure number two is unexplainable hardship and suffering i give you the case of jabez jabez was a man better than his brothers first Corinth, first chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10 the bible says jabez was a better man than his brothers a man of honor his mother had named him jabez calling him pain a painful bed saying i bore him in great pain jabez prayed to god say oh lord would you bless me now this is what's happening here when jabez was growing up he noticed unexplainable hardship and suffering in his life and he prayed to god and said oh god my father deliver me and bless me when you notice unexplainable hardship and suffering in your life it is a sign that something has been spoken something has been done or something is going on against your destiny against your life against your glory that you aren't aware of and you need to come in the place of prayer just like jabez and say oh lord let this curses be broken oh lord let his attacks cease oh lord deliver me in the name of jesus amen number three recurring dreams of bondage listen dreams are spiritual monitors that can reveal the state of your life recurring dreams where you find yourself in bondage such as being in chains such as being in locked rooms such as being in confined spaces such as seeing yourself in your village even though you live in town such as seeing yourself in classrooms where you're writing exams and failing these are indicators that your destiny is under siege god will allow you to see dreams that will try to give you signal of what's going on so i like to ask you right now what are the kind of dreams you've been having check your dreams do you remember a few of your dreams dreams where you have to fight and fight and fight and fight dreams where you are always being chased dreams where you find yourself in dungeons and pits dreams where you find yourself always struggling to 
always struggling to have victory these are clear signs that there's something going on against your destiny that your destiny might be under siege and attack and come on you need to come in the place of prayer and say oh lord my father in the name of jesus i speak deliverance over my life hallelujah the bible says in job chapter 33 verse 14 to 18 but god does speak now one way now another though no one perceives it in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falls on people as they slumber in their beds he may speak in their ears and terrify them with warnings to turn them from wrongdoing and keep them from pride to preserve them from the pit their lives from perishing by the sword simple God will allow you to have dreams that will warn you, that will correct you, that will inspire you, that will show you what's going on. What are the kind of dreams you are having? You know what I want you to do? Can you share a few of your dreams with me in the comments? I will read your dreams. I will pray with you. I will reach out to you. I will speak over your life. And I, together, we will declare your freedom in the name of jesus christ amen number four unfulfilled prophecies and promises unfulfilled prophecies and promises when prophecies and promises over your life remain unfulfilled for a long long time despite constant efforts despite constant prayers despite constant uh, seed sowing despite despite constant uh, prayers from different people but these prophecies these promises remain unfulfilled your destiny is under siege you need more than those things you need more than those desperations you need more than those acts you need to come in the place of prayer that's what we are gonna do in this prayer of agreement you need to stand your ground and this you need to pray over and over and that's why i call you to listen to this video pray this prayer for seven days minimum but i like to advise that you pray this prayer for 21 nights Listen to this prayer for 21 nights. And as we speak over your life, every cage will be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18. Apostle Paul said, We wanted to come to you. I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered me. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. For a great and effectual door has opened to me, and there are many adversaries prophecies and promises are divine open doors in your life but they do not just happen they require your understanding acceptance and spiritual warfare to command them to become a reality in your life first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 paul commanded timothy by the prophecies that's gone ahead of you you need to war a good warfare in other words that's the prophecies that's great those are the promises that's great but if you don't do nothing about them those prophecies ain't gonna come to pass there are times you've been in dreams you've seen great things in dreams you saw yourself in beautiful houses driving nice cars having living a good life in your dreams these are pictures of your destiny these are pictures of the prophecies over your life these are pictures of your expectation you see them in the dream come on when you wake up one year is gone two years five ten twenty there's no change there's no manifestation there's no fulfillment of any of these prophecies child of god there are powers that are speaking against the prophecies of god over your life you need to say enough holding hands with you right now and i say enough you are coming out of every darkness right now enter into the season of fulfillment of prophecies over your life in the name of jesus number five strange and 
unexplainable delays strange and unexplainable delays strange and unexplainable delays when you encounter constant and inexplicable delays in achieving your goals it's a sign that your destiny is under spiritual attack these delays can manifest in various areas such as your career your marriage your personal projects of course you know daniel experienced daniel's experience with the prince of persia is a prime example of what i'm talking about it always seems that you are at the brink of manifestation you can feel that there's a miracle about to happen in your life but then you don't know what happened it gets carried over then there are powers there are principalities there are familiar spirits who are against the fulfillment of the prophecies over your life when delays are strange when delays are strange i understand there are times god tells you you know what just wait but when delays are strange and unexplainable child of god you need to rise and take up your victory armor you need to say blood of jesus in the name of jesus i break the chains of delay in the mighty name of jesus daniel prayed and the bible says from the first day he began to pray an angel was released to bring answers to his prayers but the prince of persia you know what the prince of persia is not just one single demon it is a representation of systems it's a representation of powers it's a representation of curses is a representation of covenants is a representation of es demonic establishments that rose against daniel and for 21 days for 21 days daniel persisted in prayer the more angels came and those systems were destroyed i speak angelic release over your life i speak angelic release over your health i speak angelic release over your finances i speak angelic release over your destiny in the name of jesus i come against the delays you are going through i command them to cease forthwith in the name of jesus any powers standing against your destiny i command them to be destroyed today in the name of jesus Mago shapa katelim bangaluzi padasa maboro shandali gaguski proskantaria le baba gendo zangara shopanasita le bosha katali kreproshikaba. Will you say in the comments with me right now? No more delays, no more delays, no more delays. May the powers of delays be broken in the name of Jesus. May every satanic establishment, may every satanic system may every principality and power may every familiar spirit orchestrating delay in your life be destroyed today in the name of jesus the bible says he that will come will not delay from today may every roadblock to the manifestation of your healing and prosperity be removed in the name of jesus maru shantalia And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. All right. I told you I was going to talk to you about five, five signs that your destiny is under a cage. But you know, there are actually more things the Lord is ministering to me to talk to you about right now. Number six, lack of favor and opportunities. When favor and opportunities elude you despite your qualifications and efforts, it indicates that your destiny is under attack number seven constant frustration and near success syndrome 
when you frequently find yourself almost succeeding but never quite reaching the promise it is a sign of a caged destiny this pattern happens over and over and when something happens the first time you can you can you know just ignore it when it happens the second time the same pattern it's a lesson and when it happens the third time this warfare the first time you observe the second time is a lesson the third time it's warfare don't take what God hates number eight unusual patterns of rejection when you experience unusual unusually repeated rejection in various aspects of your life in your relationship rejection in your job applications rejection with people rejection when rejection is a pattern in your life and it's an indication that your destiny is being sabotaged by spiritual forces do not take these signs to be normal these signs call for spiritual warfare as we progress in this video i am holding hands with you right now and we will be speaking over your destiny releasing your glory hallelujah in the name of jesus I will now pray with you in a prayer of agreement against any powers that speaking against your destiny please keep saying amen as many as you can declare amen in this video in the comments just keep shouting amen I am praying with you I am holding hands with you the premise of our prayer is the scriptures that says thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be done unto you and light will shine on your way we will decree a thing and listen the only way to command light on your way is by decreeing and declaring the word of god over your life so this is what i'm doing with you right now you are coming out of any cage that's holding you bound in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus we are here before a heavenly father we confess that the blood of jesus speaks over us the blood of jesus cancels our sins the blood of jesus empowers us to stand to obtain mercy before the throne of god in the name of jesus and heavenly father we thank you for the blood of jesus we thank you jesus for your precious blood we thank you for sending the holy spirit to be with us we thank you for giving us authority over the powers of darkness we thank you lord we thank you lord we thank you in advance lord that even as we pray this out deliverance will happen in our lives deliverance will happen in our families deliverance will happen over our children deliverance will happen over our health in the name of jesus child of god i hold hands with you right now i declare in advance that you are delivered and to the glory of God you are giving your testimony in the name of Jesus by the authority the name of Jesus I command every chain holding your destiny to be broken in the name of Jesus I stand on your I stand on the promise of Luke chapter 10 verse 19 which says that God has given us authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome every power of the enemy in the name of Jesus today I will trample every snake and scorpion against your destiny we trample every snake and scorpion against your family against your children against everything about you against your finances we trample on them 
as Jesus said, in the name of Jesus, <clears throat> we command the chains that is holding you to be broken today. In the name of Jesus, let them be shattered today. In the name of Jesus. Labara Santoli Kemo Shantalika Pradolia. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 18. Says the Lord will deliver you from every satanic attack and bring you safely to his heavenly kingdom. I speak this deliverance over you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, be delivered from every work of the enemy against your glory, against your, your, against your shining in the name of Jesus, against your light. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Be delivered today in the name of Jesus. Be delivered today in the name of Jesus. In Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from every curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Therefore, today I declare in the name of Jesus, every generational curse speaking against you, every ancestral affliction in your life by the blood of Jesus, I break them, I end them in the name of Jesus. Rosima Katalikusha Panaria. I speak the blessings of Abraham over you. I speak the blessings of Abraham over you. I decree that Christ has redeemed you from every curse. You are delivered from every curse in the name of Jesus. Le Barason Telikamo Shandalia. When you begin to say amen right now, you are delivered from every curse in the name of Jesus. Every statement that's going on against you is broken today. Every voice that's condemning your destiny, every demonic condemnation in your life, every demonic condemnation in your family, every demonic condemnation in the places where you work, by the blood of Jesus, we end them today. We end them today. In the Roshama Koteli Barea, Zebaba Koshinteli Marusikaba. From today, the Lord will be a refuge and fortress for you. I speak divine protection over your life. I speak divine protection over your children. I speak divine protection over your family. I speak divine protection over your finances. In the name of Jesus, I declare every snare of the enemy is destroyed today. Every fowler, every agent of darkness that has risen against you, that has risen against your family, that has risen against your finances, in the name of Jesus, I come against them. I bind them. I command them to go back to the senders. Every arrow of Satan, in the name of Jesus, shot from the spirit world against your health, against your life, in the name of Jesus, let them be destroyed right now and let them turn around and go back to their senders. Hallelujah. Roskama Koshatalia. This is the day of your salvation and deliverance. This is the day of the salvation of your children. In the name of Jesus. Rababados Kentelia. This is the day of your healing. By the stripes of Jesus. I command you to be healed right now. By the stripes of Jesus. I command you to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I declare according to 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24, Jesus bore our sins on his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. And by his stripes we are healed. By the stripes of Jesus you are healed. I speak healing from your head to your toe. I speak healing all over your body. I speak healing over your organs in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over your life. I speak healing in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Powers fighting against your health. We bind them. 
we send them into the abyss in the name of jesus according to ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 you are wearing the whole armor of god in the name of jesus and you stand strong against the wiles of the enemy you are wearing the breastplate of truth in the name of jesus you are wearing the belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness the gospel of peace the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and you have the sword of the spirit in the name of jesus with the armor of God right now I resist every attack of the enemy against your life in the name of Jesus I lose your destiny in the name of Jesus. I lose your glory in the name of Jesus. I lose your blessings in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been stolen from you, I declare restoration in the name of Jesus. I declare restoration in the name of Jesus I speak financial freedom and abundance in your life in the name of Jesus today I decree and declare that the Lord provides for you he is your Jehovah Jireh call him Jehovah Jireh hallelujah by the Holy Spirit he says I will provide for you the curse of lack is broken the curse of scarcity is broken I welcome you into the season of abundance in the name of Jesus every attack on your financial destiny ends today by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus wherever you are attacked in any area of your life where you are being attacked i decree deliverance i decree peace i decree restoration in the name of jesus moro shantalima katolia every satanic temptation programmed against you programmed against your destiny programmed in the life of your children every demonic temptation designed to leo designed to steal designed to hinder in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i decree victory in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i decree that you are an overcomer in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus i decree that you are strengthened you have the wisdom to overcome in the name of jesus i come against the voice speaking against your marriage I come against every voice speaking against your marriage. I come against every voice speaking against your children. I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I come against the voices of darkness speaking against your union, speaking against your spouse. I command your spouse to be revealed right now and come to you in the name of Jesus. If you are believing God for a life partner in the name of Jesus, I join my faith with yours and I decree right now, let your marital destiny be loosed in the name of Jesus. I command your spouse to manifest and come into your life in the name of Jesus. And this spouse will be someone that God has ordained not someone that's coming to waste your time in the name of jesus i speak over you be delivered from every time waster you will not be a victim of the wrong connection and relationships that will waste your destiny in the name of jesus christ i speak divine protection over your children i speak divine protection over your children Isaiah chapter 54 verse 13 The Lord will teach your children and great shall be their peace. Amen. Are you hearing me right now? Declare with me. The Lord will teach my children and great shall be their peace. The Lord will teach my children and great shall be their peace.
peace mention the names of your children i pray over them right now even as you drop their names in the comment the lord will teach them the lord will teach them and great shall be their peace in the name of jesus the lord will teach them and great shall be their peace i speak deliverance over your children i speak protection over your children i speak salvation over your children every influence of darkness i nullify it right now i cancel it right now every attack of the enemy i cancel it right now i end it right now in the name of jesus i speak divine connection over your children may they be connected to the right people may every wrong connection in their lives be removed from them in the name of jesus i speak healing and health over your children where they are troubled in spirit where they are troubled in their souls where they are troubled in their bodies may they be healed today in the name of jesus i release the destiny of your children i release the destiny of your children the destinies of your children i release the glories of your children in the name of jesus roski makashanda limoros kama kitaba raba koshanda linga dozim branda musa le broski makoshata rimbarea roski prakatolizi magando siba repeat this with me right now i reject the spirit of fear god has not given me the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love and sound mind i will no longer be afraid for all things are working out for my good in the name of jesus everything about me right now will end in praise i like you to say that word because the power of death and life is in the tongue numbers 14 28 the bible says as i hear you say that's what i'm going to do to you so what are you saying right now what are you saying say what the lord will establish i am free from fear my glory has been released say what the lord will do i have order in my life i have peace in my life i have courage in my life i am smart i am bold i am wise i know what to do i am not confused say what the lord will do in the name of jesus i hold hands with you right now i pray that if i pray that the favor of god will surround you as a shield psalm chapter 5 verse 12 says the lord will bless the righteous and cover them with favor as a shield may favor be your portion in the morning from today i speak favor over your life i speak favor over your family i speak favor over your health i speak favor over your finances in the name of jesus be favored in your ministry be favored in your work be favored in your relationships can you say i have favor as a shield i have favor as a shield i have favor as a shield stagnation is broken near success syndrome is broken frustration is destroyed i have favor as a shield in the name of jesus i come against every evil altar speaking against your life and destiny i command them to be destroyed by the fire of the holy spirit in the name of jesus god's fire consumed the altar of elijah i decree may the fire of god be may the fire of god consume every evil altar speaking against your life speaking against your destiny in the name of jesus let the fire of the holy spirit visit every coven visit every graveyard visit every satanic gathering against your life against your destiny against your glory in the name of jesus I dismantle every demonic structure set up against you in the name of Jesus. 
where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is deliverance there is freedom the spirit of god is upon you therefore you are free you are delivered in the name of jesus marbles in i decree and declare that the lord will bless the work of your hands in the name of jesus the lord will open the heavens and the storehouses over you he will bless the works of your hands from today you will no longer labor in vain in the name of jesus god plan for you is good not a bad one God's plans for you are good and not evil therefore every evil happening in your life I end it right now every repeated pattern of failure every pattern of failure I nullify it I cancel it in the name of Jesus I break the chains of depression over your life I clothe you today with the garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair receive the spirit of joy and peace in place of sorrow and depression in the name of Jesus receive assurance in place of anxiety in the name of Jesus receive clarity in place of confusion in the name of Jesus receive prosperity in place of lack receive abundance receive supernatural supply in the name of jesus lord will strengthen you with the power of his might in the name of jesus may the power of the holy spirit come upon you right now wherever you are anywhere you are right now receive the holy spirit receive the holy spirit receive the holy spirit in the name of jesus every unbelief every doubt in your life is destroyed right now in the name of jesus every bitterness every unforgiveness every hatred in your heart by the blood of jesus i uproot it in the name of jesus and i decree every hatred speaking against you every hatred against you i cancel it in the name of jesus you will no longer be hated you will be loved you will no longer be hated you will be loved in the name of jesus i break the chains of past hearts i plead the blood of jesus to heal the wounds of your heart may the blood of jesus heal the wounds of your heart heal the wounds of your heart in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus to open your spiritual eyes i plead the blood of jesus to break the chains of spiritual blindness in the name of jesus you will no longer be a victim of blindness from today you will hear you will understand you will see you will understand from today every attack in your dreams are ended in the name of jesus Marushantali Kamakoteli Bandesia Zabako Shantali Makurandaba Zebosh Kabri Katali Brando Zika Praya. Your strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. Your strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. Your strength is renewed in the name of Jesus. The Lord is the one that heals you. Call him my healer, my deliverer my rock my prosperity my jehovah jireh my jehovah sabaoth my jehovah elohim call him his names right now in the name of jesus rema kosandalia zapo shanda kima kota zani kama kozili brahangazia zobo sakateli zusarada jemi gana kuturi gambaria or every witchcraft attack against your life against your children every evil bed monitoring your life i destroy them right now in the name of jesus every evil bed monitoring your life i destroy them right now in the name of jesus i set you free i set your destiny free i set your glory free in the name of jesus lift up your head all ye gates and be ye lifted up that a king of kings may come in every evil gate in your life is lifted up today the king of glory jesus comes into your life in the name of jesus amen 
I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and declare that every chain holding your destiny is broken in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. I declare victory and freedom in your life in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and declare that you are redeemed from every curse. You are protected from every incantation. You are protected and preserved from every attack in the name of Jesus. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Therefore, receive his redemption. Receive his forgiveness. Receive his healing. In the name of Jesus, you will walk in the blessings of Abraham in the name of Jesus. And I plead the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify every aspect of your life. May every demonic contamination, contamination, may every spiritual contamination that speaks against your destiny be washed away by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. May every spiritual defilement, knowingly or unknowingly, that speaks against your destiny be washed off today by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus and break every chain of oppression over your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 says that the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I speak for deliverance over your life. I speak for deliverance from every oppression in the name of Jesus. Every negative force that oppresses you, you are free today in the name of Jesus. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, when the angel of death saw the blood, the angel of death passed over today by the blood of Jesus over your life, by the blood of Jesus over your family, by the blood of Jesus over your health, by the blood of Jesus over your family, over, over your finances. I speak deliverance. I speak protection and preservation. Every attack against you ends today by the blood of Jesus. Every spirit of Pharaoh, every stubborn destiny pursuer and chaser from your village, from your place of birth, from your mother or father's side, by the blood of Jesus, I command them right now to die by fire in the name of Jesus. I speak extinction over the powers chasing after your destiny. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus and speak against ancestral spirits. Jesus has delivered you from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son god has delivered now you say this with me by the blood of jesus god has delivered me from the power of darkness and translated me into the kingdom of his dear son i belong to the kingdom where jesus reigns i belong to the kingdom where light reigns i belong to the order of Christ. Whatever cannot happen to Jesus cannot happen to me in the name of Jesus. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. My resources are gifts from God. My destiny is released to shine in the name of Jesus. As you declare these prayers, as you declare these words, I am in agreement with you and so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ and I declare a breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus and declare that you overcome every temptation and snare of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus and declare.
decree and declare that you have victory over the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Roskam Pakindoria, I plead the blood of Jesus and declare that you are delivered, your finances are delivered. I command finances to locate you from the east, west, north, and south. You will not have abandoned project in your life in the name of Jesus. You will not have abandoned abandoned project in your life in the name of jesus i speak life over every abandoned project that marriage that has been abandoned i speak life into it that marriage that has been abandoned i speak life into it in the name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus and claim your healing for by the stripes of jesus you are healed in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus and declare divine favor. For the Lord surrounds you with favor as with a shield. I plead the blood of Jesus and break every evil covenant over your life. The Bible says that Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant. Right now, you are in covenant only with Jesus. Every other covenant is broken. The covenants made at your bed, the covenants made in the dream, the covenants made knowingly or unknowingly by the blood of Jesus, they are broken. Whenever your names are mentioned today, the blood of Jesus will answer. For the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. So shall it be in the name of Jesus every addiction in your life is broken today every addiction in the lives of your children are broken today in the name of Jesus sin will no longer have dominion over you sin will no longer have dominion over the lives of your children and family members in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus and declare spiritual revival over you right now be awakened and receive the fire of the Holy Spirit burning inside you. Makuri Zantoria Banaziba Lebo Santali Kapako Shindaria Zebri Dosomali Dinazu Katalia. I plead the blood of Jesus and declare advancement and breakthrough in your career. In the name of Jesus. I break every limitation and decree and declare you will arise to the heights that God has called you in Jesus name. May the chains of depression be broken today in the name of Jesus. May the powers of witchcraft be destroyed today in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 22 verse 18, no witch shall live. Thou shalt not allow the witch to live. Anyone exercising witchcraft against you, anyone exercising witchcraft against your life, against your finances, against your destiny, against your children, against your health, by the blood of Jesus, I cancel their 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 invocations by the blood of jesus i cancel their words and condemnations by the blood of jesus i cancel their charms may everything they have said against you bounce back and manifest on their own heads in the name of jesus i decree today you will not be a victim anymore you for the lord has made you a victor in the name of jesus you will not be a victim anymore for the lord has made you a victor in the name of of jesus maruza kande libraya i plead the blood of jesus over your destiny i plead the blood of jesus over the purpose of god for your life i plead the blood of jesus and i decree peace over you i decree peace over your destiny peace 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 every wind of confusion every crisis in your life let it end this hour in the name of jesus Leka poshantali branda ziba zema rukatalia bakoshita. By the blood of Jesus, I bind the spirit of stagnation and delay. In the name of Jesus, arise and break, come and advance. Hallelujah! I declare forward movement and progress in all your endeavors. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of rejection in your life today. I bind the spirit of rejection and abandonment in the name of Jesus. Every negative feeling in you 
is uprooted in the name of Jesus. I declare divine acceptance and love in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. For the Lord will never forsake you, even if all others forsake you. You are not rejected. You are not abandoned anymore. May those who rejected you come back and plead in the name of Jesus. I break every chain of idolatry in your lineage. I break every chain of idolatry in your bloodline. Any powers that are servicing idolatry in your bloodline, I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Henceforth, we decree and declare the Lordship of Jesus over your home. Jesus will reign over your life. Jesus will reign over your family. Jesus will reign over your destiny. Jesus will reign over your finances. Jesus will reign over your children in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ today and declare restoration of your glory, restoration of your honor, restoration of your respect, restoration of your health, restoration of your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. God restores to you today the years the locusts and canker worms have eaten in the name of Jesus. Full restoration of your glory, full restoration of your glory in the name of Jesus. Robana Kutelia the chains of confusion are broken the chains of chaos is broken in the name of Jesus clarity of mind is your portion in the name of Jesus you are delivered from every demonic nightmare in the name of Jesus when you lay down to sleep your sleep will be peaceful and your sleep your dreams will be revelation in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus, I speak to any barren areas in your life. I command you to be fruitful, spiritually, physically, financially, and in every aspect of your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak divine wisdom over you. I command every false accusation against your life to be terminated today. And may every false accuser and everyone that slanders you rip the consequences of their actions in the name of Jesus. Transfer, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is your heritage in the name of Jesus. Le Baruzinta Makoshandaba. Le Brikoshanta Linda Moziba. Le Boska Pakatolia. By the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare that today marks the beginning of breakthroughs in every area of your life. Any barriers in your finances are broken and destroyed. I speak for divine health and healing. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. I command the gates of wealth to open to you. I command the gates of favor to open to you. I command the gates... of life to open to you you will live you will not die i uproot every seed of discord every seed of confusion every seed of division in your family may they be uprooted today in the name of jesus i plant the seeds of i plant the seeds of unity peace and love in your home in the name of jesus Every demonic assignment and agenda of the enemy aimed against your life is destroyed in the name of Jesus. I declare open heavens over you. Henceforth, may the showers of blessing, favor, and divine connection be released upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive the wisdom and guidance of the Holy Spirit. In every decision you take from today, may you be honored. May you be blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare that the Works of your hands are blessed. Makori da banda sutalia, legebo shantalia, megeru zambranda zuke shapri da luzama, zindoro sankapezu sarabaya, mojeke prakatolia, 
every circle of mental torment and confusion is destroyed today by the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with everything about you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Henceforth, your destinies are released. Listen, something good will happen in your life. Share this video and remain blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. And don't forget, become a monthly member, sow a seed and support this channel. Something good will happen in your life. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen.